Hello, this is Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. Had a question from Tom Wilson, who's asked me, Mike, is it possible to do CD ripping in Adobe Audition? Well, I've brought along one of my favourite production libraries from the legendary Jeff Thomas, Kilohertz One, and I'm going to pop it into the CD drive now on my Mac. Here it goes. Pop it in. And yes, you can do that. Of course, it goes without saying you need to make sure you're properly licensed to rip the audio from CD to your hard drive. But if you want to do it, just go into the file menu of Adobe Audition, click Extract Audio from CD, and you'll get a prompt like this. Now, once the CD is recognized, you'll see all the tracks appearing on the screen. But in the meantime, you can go into the title settings and you can actually take a look at what's called the CDDB server, which is the CD database server. And that draws in the track title, artist, album, etc. It's set to freedb.freedb.org. But if you want to try out an alternative, you may fancy cddb.cddb.org colon eight. 880. And don't worry, I'll put that in the description to the video too. But it's not something you need to worry about too much. When you've got all the tracks loaded in, you can simply click the play button to preview a track. And stop it again. And when you're ready to extract all the files, they're all ticked by default. You can untick some if you don't want to import them all. Just click OK. And that's a quick guide to extracting audio from CDs in Adobe Audition. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe now. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.